And now to our push to help forgotten harvests raise money to feed thousands of families in need across Metro Detroit. And to help give a boost, Cynthia and Edsel Ford are matching any of those donations that come in until 630. 7 Action News anchor Brian Abel is at the Forgotten Harvest Warehouse in Oak Park. And Brian, this really does benefit so many people. One in six people, Mike, in Metro Detroit face hunger or food insecurity at some point in their life. And that's why we are teaming up with Forgotten Harvest for our Seven Gives Back Feeding Families initiative. And again, as you mentioned, Cynthia and Nessel Ford, they are matching any of the donations that come in until 630. Seven Action News reporter Whitney Burney is giving us an inside look at the Forgotten Harvest farm and the hard work that goes into putting food like this on Metro Detroit tables. Today we're talking to farmers and volunteers about the work that goes into putting food on Metro Detroit tables. On a farm in Fenton. We are harvesting lettuce, okay. which we planted by the way a month ago. Volunteers like Bernard Winkler are collecting produce by the bin full. I got my scissors, got my rubber bands, wrap around, cut the stem off. This is the Forgotten Harvest Farm, a 100 acre property growing fresh produce that helps to support families in Wayne, Oakland and Macomb counties who face food insecurity. Basil growing over here. We have some parsley and cilantro over there under the wrap. We have some cucumbers. We just try to use as much space as we can. Lori Satera with Forgotten Harvest says after the produce is harvested, this will probably be well over six, seven, eight hundred pounds of lettuce. It's packaged into smaller quantities and taken to their warehouse. From there, it's dispersed to local food pantries and given directly to families in need. Every pound of food harvested is equivalent to one meal. Yesterday, we harvested 3,110 pounds of zucchini. And I tell the volunteers, I'm like, it's not every day that you help supply food for 3,100 meals. You planted this lettuce, you're harvesting it now, and it's going to help a family that might not otherwise have access to that food. What goes through your mind? Oh, it's great. It's a good feeling. This right here is the cabbage patch. It spans about six acres of the 100 acre farm. Every single season, the farmers here are able to grow more than 600,000 pounds worth of food. This year, the nonprofit has a goal of growing 774,000 pounds of produce. Let's do lettuce! And they're counting on help from their thousands of volunteers to harvest it all. We do have a large number of volunteers that come out here and help us for five days a week, but we need more. They need more help. The farmers here say while the work is hard and the hours are long, it's the mission that keeps them going. We'll have a 53 foot semi with two stacks of pallets of produce leave here um, almost every day when we're in full harvest season. And I know that's, you know, uh, 30, 40,000 pounds of food, 30, 40,000 meals mm -hmm. that are going to help the community. In Fenton, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Every meal counts. Again, you can donate right now until 630. Cynthia and Edsel Ford are matching all donations. You just scan the QR code that's on your screen or text WXYZ to 50155 or go to our website WXYZ.com. And Mike, I just want to show you, we saw Whitney out there at the farm. Well, this is the produce right from that farm on the very same day that Whitney was there ready to go out to people in need. And this is just what the donations are able to do, provide all of this food for everybody in this community that needs it. Mike? That is some real nutrition going to real Detroit families in need. All right, thank you, Brian.